So you guys got down by a couple scores. What was going through your mind at that point when it's on the offense to bring you back when you're having trouble getting possession of the ball? Yeah, you know, it's just just execute. That's, what, that's all that we had on our mind. You know, go out there and execute and do what we can, move the ball and get the ball in the end zone. So that's, yeah, that's about all we were talking about. What's the domino effect that you know, when you guys aren't able to run the ball, you know, the way you, you, the way you were able to the first couple games? You know, sometimes um, you know, there's kind of two parts of the offense. You know, there's the run game, the pass game, and, and those intertwine, you know. So um, it all works together. And so uh, you got to just find a way to get down the field and get the ball in the end zone. Did you see anything specific, I guess, with the run game? Was it one thing over and over? Was it different things all across the board? Like what? You know, we'll have to watch the film to, to kind of figure out what it was. You know, a lot of times my back's turned to the play, you know, handing it off, so I don't really see it every time. But, you know, talking on the sideline, we, we saw a couple things. What kind of things did you see with Washington's front? Did it look like they were getting staggered pressure at you at different times, like when you would set up, when you would, you know, what, even though they didn't get home a lot, it seemed like they were in around you quite a bit. Yeah, you know, they got good players. Um, they brought a couple of things that we hadn't seen on film um, from them. And, you know, they played hard. They did a good job. And, uh, like I said, they got good players and good coaches over there, too. So, how, how do you feel you guys adjusted in the second half? Did it look like that first drive you were able to put some things together? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talked at halftime. You know, I think we had have four drives, and one of them was one play. You know, unfortunately, that, that ended in safety. And we felt like we shot ourselves in the foot on two of them. And then, um, the other drive, we went down and scored and, and possessed the ball for a while. So I uh, just wanted to come out there and execute, like I said earlier. And, uh, you know, I thought we did that um, at times in the second half. They feel like they had an answer to everyone. Every time the guys just seemed like you guys got some momentum, you know, they, you got the goal line stand and as a safety, you can score late in the first half and they go right back down again and put one on the board. Yeah, you know, uh, two great defensive stands for us, uh, you know, at the goal line. Um, then we come out and obviously have the safety. And then uh, the second one come out and throw an interception, which you know is not you know it's not going to win you games. So uh, just have to be better on that. And, and the momentum swings, you know, we got momentum two times and we handed it right back to them. So uh, yeah, it wasn't good enough. Is there any value in the second half that you guys put together when you know you, you get it back within somewhat striking distance and you you, you know sort of a, the fight that was there? And whatnot? Yeah, you know, that's something we pride ourselves on our program is that, you know, we're never going to give up. And I think that the people that watch us, you know, they can say that. And so that's something that we want to every week and, and every year that we play. You know, we want to say that we got a resilient team. And, you know, I think that we had that this year. I think we showed that, you know, we're going to play till the end. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, we ran out of time. So you, you didn't have, uh, obviously, you didn't have. Uh... Jaden, and I'm wondering, it, it, it seemed like when you needed somebody for a go-to guy for a while, you had guys like Keon step up, Daniel stepped up in a few moments. What what did you learn about those guys and sort of your relationship growing with, with those guys? What, where, was there any steps that were made today? Yeah, you know, I thought Trey Mosley played well today, too. He had some big catches today, and so, uh, you know, between those three guys, you know, I thought we had a few guys step up today, and it was good to see. Um, you know, I love those guys, and, you know, they came to play today, and, uh, you know, I'm just proud that uh, you know what they put out there today. You know they played hard and, and they and they played tough. Trey the talked about guys, we get wrong. Trey talked about the noise affecting things early. I guess how long did it take to kind of adjust to that? And was it still again, was it throughout the game a factor? Was it calls? Was it communication up front? What do you think it was? Yeah, you know, obviously it was loud, but I thought we did a pretty good job communicating. Honestly, um, you know, up front I didn't feel like we had any confusion. Uh, on, the, on the first, I think it was the first drive, obviously, you know, me and the back were on the same page, and so uh, that was a communication issue, but after that, we got it fixed, and so, um, yeah, you know, I, I didn't think it affected us too crazy much. It was a good atmosphere, and their, and their fans came um, came out, and they showed out, but I thought that we handled it pretty well. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.